European champion. You, last year you won in Berlin the title at the home soil. How was that? Uh, that was uh, nice to be here. First time I, I, I compete here for Pol in Poland. And but this, this season is very tough for me. Um, I don't know what, what's happened, but my coach says to me that I, it's a learn year. So I have to learn this year how to jump because to become a European champion is easy, but to, uh, to be, it's not, a, not that easy now. What, what is difficult on being a European champion? Mentally, mentally, yeah, yeah. I don't know what, what is it, but I'm, I'm trying to, um, to focus and I don't know what's happening, but it's, it's really tough and uh, my coach and, and, and we, the whole team, are uh, waiting for the next uh, competition, what we're doing. So you did, you, you're going now to a competition and maybe you're asking too much from yourself, there's too much pressure? Exactly, yeah, too much pressure because everybody's looking at you and say, hey, look at him, it's a European champion from last year. So every, everybody uh, thinks that I can, I can jump uh, every time 30 plus and it's not that easy, that's, that's, that's sport, it's, it's tough, but, but um, I see um, the next season would, would be better. Yeah. Then you are used to being European champion? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Today it, it was also for jumping for, for, for Germany, but look at uh, if you look at uh, your attempts, uh, there's always something you are happy about in the competition. I think is there, w which thing was was did you do well? Um, first time in this season, I was um, my runner was fast f for the first time in this season, and I don't know maybe I have something in my food or in my mind. I don't know. So. Um, we will see. Um, I think uh, it was a good, good competition for me because I was jumping 222 easily because I, the runner was really fast. So maybe in Doha is so far away, we have so much time to, uh, to train and we will see what's coming in the next. If you look at your family, there's a lot about sports, I think. Looking yeah. at your brother, who they play soccer, your, your parents have been. Can you tell me about that? Um, the season for my brother is really good. Uh, he, uh, he, he plays in. Um, hey, yeah. Uh, he's gaming. He's. Oh, sorry. Uh, he's in Philadelphia in the Major League Soccer. He scores um, in 17 games, I think like 10, 10 goals, and that's, that's really good for him because he got, had, got a lot of problems of injuries. So now this is his season, his year, and not my year. <laughs> Both of your brothers, they play soccer, you yeah. went uh, doing athletics. Right. So if you have a family dinner, is it all about sports or do no, you talk about something? Not all, all about sports, uh, about everything. We are talking like uh, about uh, God and, and the earth. <laughs> yeah. And uh, why didn't you choose for soccer? I know, I was young, I, was, I want, just wanted to do sports. So my parents and my mother comes from the athletics and my, my father was a soccer player. So I decided the way to, to uh, compete in the athletics and my other brothers are uh, playing soccer. And, and uh, the, the high jump now for, oh wait, just Geza, can you join us in the interview? Sure. We're just talking. Um, he, it's his first time last year he, got, he became European champion. You are already twice European champion. You, you, and he's saying he has some difficulties with, with depression now. And I know you told me once you, when you were young and doing so well, you had a kind of the same thing going on. So I think the pressure never really goes away. So it will increase during the career of a track and you have to learn to deal with it so that's what I figured out in the last years because when I was younger I just was so motivated and so it was just amazing to stand on the track and compete in front of hundreds of people hundreds of thousands of people and um, yeah like now it it's not getting easier but it's still fun to figure out how to deal with it and try to do my best every year and I think nobody can blame us if there's a competition that doesn't work like the year before. Every year is a new year, we try to build up and sometimes our bodies just react differently. And um, I had a terrible year last year. Just Berlin was my perfect day and I put all my energy in that race and I had still struggles in our season this this year and um, yeah it's I think it's not getting easier but it's still fun to figure out how our body works and I think we are no machines so we exactly <laughs> yeah that's everything what I can say about it yeah yes, yeah so you have some advice yeah he is a perfect athlete and he proved in front of 40,000 people in Berlin last year and it was 
an amazing experience. It's Thank so you. hard, yeah, <laughs> and it's so hard to deal with that situation. And we can just try to do our best and be the best version of ourselves. And we shouldn't blame ourselves for it. And nobody has the right to blame if a competition doesn't work like the other. And I think he'll be back with good performance. And so it's the same with me. I ran my PB in 2017, and I'll do that one day again. And I hope it's this year. I hope it's in Doha, but I'm not sure if it will work out. If not, we have the Olympics next year, which is even more important for us.